As the dust settles on a hugely successful Pepsi ICC EAP Women's Trophy in Japan, current and former Australian cricketers in attendance at the event have come out in full voice to praise the talent that is emerging from right across the region. There is a lot of talent here and you can see that they just love it and they just, just talking to them that they just absorb every part of it and they put it straight into their game and you know there's no doubt that cricketers in, in this area in uh, East Asia Pacific is, is just growing. Papua New Guinea who claimed the championship is now one step away from qualification for the ICC Women's World 2020 India 2016. However, it was players from across all competing teams that caught the eyes of some high-profile attendees that believe a number of individuals are good enough to play at the top level. I can already see that some of the players are at the standard of, of perhaps playing National League in Australia. You know, there could be some state teams that, um, I mean, we're a very strong state team in, in New South Wales, but um, there's some strong players here that could, that could push for positions in some of the teams that, that play in our domestic competition. Fielding has always been a strength of the region at female and male level, and the enthusiasm in the field was on show for all to see in Japan. The rapid improvement in the region's leading bowlers was also a feature, with several players demonstrating a genuine ability to swing the ball. However, it was the power hitting from several of the tournament stars that was a welcome surprise to the Australians. They're, they're very, very powerful hitters. We, we've seen that and probably with a bit more game sense and more game practice, you know, they can know the right time to use that power hitting because they can launch a ball into the stratosphere. They can really belt it and that's been great to see and, and I'm sure that'll just continue to get better and better. I think the Samoan team is just outstanding. They're batting the other day. Um, uh, one of their players was hitting sixes and um, fours and um, rotating the strike. So, you know, just the ability to be able to do to both of that. With a growing female participation base across the region and support from the likes of EAP female ambassador Alex Blackwell, the future looks bright for cricket in the region. I'm really thrilled to, to hear that there's a 45% participation for, for women in cricket in the region and, and that's something to be really proud of and um, yeah look I, I'm really surprised by that I didn't know how how heavy that involvement was um, so it's great to see uh, everyone just loving the game and, and getting so much out of it and I can just see in this region cricket's going to really take off and I hope to be involved to see where it's going to be in you know a couple of years or five years and some of these nations I'm sure will be playing at the World Cup.